another video. This is going to be a Wii U collection video. I don't think I've ever done a Wii U collection video before, so I don't have that many Wii U games, but I do have a little stack over here, so we'll go through them. Some of which I've never played, and others I have, so you'll kind of see that because some of them like aren't open. Um, I'll tell you which ones those are as I go along, if it's not noticeable. So let's get started. The first one that I've never played and really have no interest in playing is Wii Fit U, and it comes with the the Fit Meter also on the inside. I've never played this. This was at Walmart when I picked it up for five bucks, and the box is all smashed to pieces. So I'm guessing they had this maybe in the back at some point, and they just started sticking stuff on top of it because they got old. And this is what happened to the boxes. I don't know. But it was only $5, and I figured I'd just add to my collection. And it's kind of the same story with this one, except for I got this one at Target. And this one has a microphone in it. That's Sing Party. And I paid $6 for this at Target when I got it. Never played it. Probably never will. I might play it one day, just if I'm drunk or something. But other than that, I highly doubt I'll ever play it. It's actually got, like, dust on the box from me never moving it basically so I got that then we are down to the games that aren't in boxes I have Splatoon I wanted to get the second one for the switch which I still haven't got yet Star Fox Guard Star Fox Zero Zombie U I've heard, this is one of them that I haven't played yet, I'm not like a zombie person at all, like I'm just not into zombies, which is why I haven't played this, but I've heard it's pretty decent, so I need to give it a shot, but I picked this up really late in the Wii U lifespan, like this was only $9 at, at a Walmart, at GameStop when I picked it up, so, and I think that might have been one of those like bots you get one free deal, so I might have got it for free. Nintendo Land. Pokemon Tournament. This is one that I have not opened yet. I have played this game, however, but I've never played my copy of it, so this one's still sealed. I have Game and Wario. Wario games to me are always fun. Pikmin 3, which I've never played before either. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This game. I, I love the Donkey Kong games, but it seems like every time they make a new Donkey Kong, it gets harder and harder. Maybe that's just me, but I like, I'm stuck on a certain level and I can't remember. I'm pretty far into the game, but there's like one level that I cannot beat for the life of me, no matter what I try to do, and I kind of maybe stop playing it for a while. So I kind of need to go back and see if I can actually beat the level, which probably can't, but you never know. Sometimes you go back to a game later and then you can beat a level that you couldn't beat before. Um, Assassin's Creed 3, this is still shrink wrapped. I really have no interest in playing it on Wii U, but I got it at Black Friday. I think it was one of those like $5 deals or something back on a Black Friday a long time ago. Um, Just Dance 4, this was actually came from a Goodwill, which is why there's a big black mark on the case, and it's also like kind of taped in the back as well. Somebody like destroyed this case. So, I kind of need to find a replacement Wii U case, but I don't know if they sell them or not for this one. And I'm sure I could get that marker off with just like warping alcohol or something. I've just never gotten to it yet. Then I got the bonus edition of Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed for Wii U. The reason why I got it on Wii U was because of the bonus edition. So, we got that. I don't think. This is the one that has Danica Patrick in it and Wreck-It Ralph. I thought maybe there was another edition that had Banjo-Kazooie in it, but I might have been wrong. I don't I don't remember, but I got that one. Mighty Number no. 9. To me, this is like a ripoff of uh, Mega Man, but I love Mega Man, so I figured I would give it a shot. And I don't hate this game as much as a lot of other people do. I don't think it's that bad. Game Party Champions. 
DuckTales Remastered. I love this game. I've probably been this about three times already. I just love it. I think it's really fun. It's a really, like, chill game to play when you just want something to relax. Planes. This one's never been opened. really have no interest in playing it either. Somebody gave it to me because they didn't want it in their collection and I figured I would just keep it sealed unless I have some interest in playing it, so I got that one. The movie is pretty decent though. Disney Infinity. I, I'm just not a big fan of Disney Infinity. I mean, it's nothing against it. I just can't get into it for the life of me. Another one I have not opened, but I have played this on the DS and I actually just sold my DS copy not too long ago, so I need to play this version. And this is Scribblenauts Unlimited. And yeah, this one I originally picked up at GameStop, if you can tell, because of the crappy packaging, which is so-called new. But uh, I played this on the DS and I really loved it. And I figured the Wii U version would probably just be better because of like graphics and because like, you could play on a bigger screen. But I haven't got around to playing it on the bigger screen yet, so but I do have that one. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. This is another game I've played, but not my personal copy. This is actually a really fun game to me. This one is also shrink-wrapped and I've never played it. I wish I would have gotten the second one because the second one's actually kind of rare. But I was never, like, I was really late figuring out that a second one came out of this. But I've played this one with my friends a lot, and this one is, like, really fun to me. But I've never opened my copy of it, so I still have that shrink-wrapped. But that definitely will be opened at some point. Super Mario 3D World, there's really nothing to say about this game. This game's just amazing, so we got that. I did get it late again in the cycle because it's the uh, Nintendo Select version of it. Mario Party 10, definitely not one of my favorite Mario Party games by far. This one actually kind of annoys me, honestly, but I have played it a lot. Yoshi's Woolly World, I have the box and the amiibo for this too. But I didn't feel like getting it down because it's on top of one of my shelves. But this is a really, really fun game. I need to get the DS version, the 3DS version of um, the one where I think it's based on the dog character. Which I can't remember the name for the life of me. But I need to get that one. I don't know why I haven't picked that one up yet, to be honest. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This is one of those games where it seems like people really love it or people really hate it. I love this game, and I really don't like puzzle games too much. Like, it's got to be a certain type of puzzle game. And this is the type of puzzle game that I normally would not enjoy, but I really do enjoy and love this game. And honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of Toad, and I still love this game, so... I've had a lot of fun with that one. Super Mario Maker, classic for the Wii U. Games are about to collapse over here. Just waiting for them to fall on me. New Super Mario Bros. U, again, another really good Mario game. I mean, what Mario game have you played that hasn't been good? Like, please give me a title below. Okay, and I don't mean, like, Super Nintendo, like, Mario's Time Machine. I don't mean that. I mean, like, because <laughs> that's bad. I mean, like, Super Mario Brothers or Mario is Missing. That's another bad one. But Super Mario Brothers, like, the series... Which game have you played that has not been good? Because every one that I've played, I've really enjoyed and loved. And this one, I don't think I've actually beaten this one yet, but I'm close to beating this one. This one and 3D World are the ones I have not beaten yet. I've beaten all the other ones. Then we got Mario Kart 8, which of course you have to have for the collection. I also have this on my Switch as well. And the only reason really why I got it on my Switch is... One, for collecting purposes, but two, because I did not download all of the download content you can download with the Wii U version, which came with the Switch version, so I decided to pick it up because I actually got extra tracks that I didn't play before in this version. So, that was kind of a bonus for me. Another classic, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Love this game. Really great Smash Brothers game. If you have not played this one, this is a really good reason to pick up a Wii U if you can find one cheap really really good game and then last but not least is another one I have not played and I just got did I get this I don't remember if I got this this Christmas or if I got it the Christmas before that I can't remember honestly but 
I got Paper Mario Color Splash, and the reason why I have not opened this yet is I didn't want this game, but after I decided I wanted this game, I kind of saw, like, videos and reviews of it, and it just does not seem like a good Mario game at all, especially Paper Mario, <laughs> so, uh, I'm kind of iffy about playing this game. I will play it, but it's not, like, the highest one on my list to get around to, so that's why it's still shrink wrap. So that is my Wii U collection. Out of all the games I've had, if I had to pick a favorite, or let's see, look, I told you they were going to collapse at some point. If I had to pick a favorite out of the ones that I've played, I'll give you the top three. My top three, and, well, I guess we can do it in order. Let's see. I can find the one I'm looking for. It's just not there. Splatoon is, like, really close to being in the top three, but I'm going to have to go with basically Mario games. <laughs> if I can find the other one. My top three in this order would be Super Mario 3D World. Absolutely love this game. This is one of my favorite Mario games ever made. Yoshi's Woolly World, just love it. I love the concept of it. I think it's really unique and everybody knows. If you know me on this channel, you know I'm a huge Yoshi fan, so I have to throw that in there. And then New Super Mario Bros. U, also really good. I know it's kind of like classic games to go with, but like I said, third place would really be between these two, and that's Splatoon and New Super Mario Bros. U. I would really like to get the Splatoon 2 on the Switch and compare it to this version. I don't know if it's any better than this version or how that's gone about, but I do know that it has not dropped down in price at all, and I've been waiting for it to drop down in price before I got it. I was hoping for Black Friday that they would have some type of deal where I can get it for a cheaper price on the Switch, but that didn't happen, so I still don't have it. So that is all of my games. Got a big mess over here to clean up now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first video on my new camera. Um, I'm kind of like, I can see myself now, which is a good thing. Kind of. So I don't want to really look at my ugly self, but I can see what I'm recording, which is a good thing. And from what I'm looking at, it kind of looks like this might be a little bit crooked. So if it is, I'm sorry. Let me get used to this camera and I'll fix all that. Also, the setting you see, this is not going to be where I record my videos. I know it's extremely boring behind me. Um, I do have a game room. I will be recording in there, but right now it's like extremely dark outside. If I try to take a video in there, it's just not going to turn out well at all because it's extremely dark in there as well. So I'm recording this video in here, but majority of my videos will be in my game room. And I will also do a like kind of like a quick overview of my game room with this camera so you guys can see that as well. Um, that'll probably probably be like a quick like one minute clip or something that I upload on YouTube. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be compassionate and courteous to others, and I hope everybody has a great day.